Rupert, it's great to meet you. Thank and you very you, much yeah. for your time today. Um, we got to experience seeing the great hall doors open as the screen lifts this yeah. morning. What was it like for you the very first time that you saw that and then again now seeing it sort of yeah. in this massive studio? Yeah, it's... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's amazing. I mean, it, I, I came here the other day and, and, and did all, all the tour and it, it kind of did remind me of the first time I ever walked on that set as a 10-year-old boy, really. And... Um, it was kind of one of the first sets we ever filmed in, and um, yeah, just walking in there was just quite overwhelming because it was, it was uh, at the time it was filled with hundreds of hundreds of people and the food on the tables and floating candles and it was just <clears throat> it was just yeah it just kind of blew you away and yeah and and, and doing that uh, the other day when the, when the thing lifts and you see the door it's yeah it's just it, it's quite moving really. Um, because uh, I mean, it doesn't really feel that long ago since we were filming here, mm. and yeah, I think it's, it's great that people, other people, can share that kind of experience with other people as well, and they can kind of see all these sets and uh, enjoy it. Is it strange for you seeing everything all so close together? Because obviously, all of this stuff was all separate, and you know, and, and yeah. I guess you, you didn't have Dumbledore's office across the way from no. the Gryffindor common room where we are now, and that sort of thing. Yeah, it's it's, it's weird. It's, it's hard to get used to this kind of dynamic of. Um, all, this, all being in one place, mm. um, uh, but yeah, I, I think it's it's brilliant that we can. Um, I mean, it'd be such a shame if it kind of all just went into like some storage container somewhere and, and forgotten about. It's, it's great that it's being put to good use, and mm. yeah. Is there a set in particular that is special to you more than any other? Um, yeah, I, I swear. I mean, the Great Hall is 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 a, is a really good one. Um, but yeah, just just even stuff like um, the dormitory, like the seeing like beds, mm -hmm. and like just think I've actually slept on that bed. Yeah. Like, so you've many actually times. Have you been asleep on the bed? Yeah, yeah. Like my DNA would Brilliant. be on that bed somewhere. <laughs> so it's it's yeah, it's it's just I mean every prop and every set is completely kind of filled with memories of um, over the years, and it's yeah, it's 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 good that people can kind of come and see all that. Did you ever stop being amazed by this stuff? I mean, so I came in, I've been here, lucky enough to be here a few times. And, yeah. um, every time I st still see something that amazes me, do you still s look at the intricacies mm. and, and get amazed by something every time? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, the, the, these sets have just got so much character and just so much detail that you, you, you don't really, you don't really see in my, my, much of this at all. And it's, it's, it's good to actually come here and, and really have a look around. Like, mm. uh, I never noticed that armadillo over there. Really? <laughs> yeah, and like, Stuff like that. It's just it's it's great to kind of and it's good to to um, to celebrate all the kind of people that you don't really get to mention, like mm. all the creative people, and I think they do an amazing job. Is there so we're in the Griffin dot room? Is mm. there a particular memory scene or off camera where you had a good laugh um, that you can recall for, for today? Um, yeah, I mean this 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 is quite a regular set, um, especially in the early the early films. We used to kind of spend a lot of time here, and um, yeah, I think just in the, the first film, there was we had a, the Christmas scene where um, Harry gets his invisibility cloak. Um, I remember that so clearly, and it's it's yeah, I mean it still has exactly the same atmosphere, just sitting here now, yeah. and it's yeah, it's. It's really, it's really special, yeah. And they're quite comfy seats as well, so it's good to yeah, see now. Yeah. I guess everyone was fighting over the comfy seats <laughs> during the scene of yeah. um, Would you rather drive the Ford Anglia or the night bus? Both of which are on the back lot. Yeah, it's yeah, it's really good to see both of them. I think the night bus would be interesting. Um, quite dangerous, I imagine. Not very stable. Um, and yeah, I, I do have a bit of a soft spot for the Anglia. Yeah. And you've had practice with that as well. Yes. So is it is it the Anglia? Is it? I'd say the Anglia, yeah. Because Tom picked the night bus. Did he really? Yeah, yeah he did. But he didn't want to take your car. Ah, so. uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Rupert, it's great to meet you. Thank you and so yeah, much. Thank, thank you. you for this tour. It's amazing. Great. Thank you very much.